if you use email you get spam <laughs> we all know what spam is however I thought it might be interesting to show you how spam detection actually works now this is my junk folder in Thunderbird 317 I think I'm using 317 yeah uh, when you run your own website, .com, .net, .org, .whatever, depending on your web host, you can actually set up custom spam filters and spam rules and actually see why certain spam was flagged as such. Now, you're going to see some crazy stuff here, and yeah, this is this is what spam looks like, obviously. But what's more important is where it says content analysis details. This is from uh, Spam Assassin which is a an Apache filter, Apache web server. And uh, for those that don't know what Apache web server is, that is the most used web server on the internet. And Spam Assassin is, I believe, the most popular used spam filter for Apache. So if, uh, or, I'm sorry, not for Apache, uh, for mail server. So this is how it works. Now, uh, it's based on a point system. I, it requires two points in order for my mail server to flag a spam. Now I could have it deleted, but I have it actually send it to me, and uh, I have a filter set up so it automatically sends it to the junk folder because I want to know who's sending what, and in addition to that, it also allows me to set up custom filters for what spam assassin doesn't catch. So that's why I have this to begin with. Anyway, I only require two points, and this was uh, moderately big one which is 38.6 points and it lists you every single reason why it was flagged uh, Bayes which is a Bayesian filtering uh, the H-E-L-O the hello which is a relay and suspicious host name and uh, there's another hello uh, then there's a bunch of stuff here like uh, ratware e-groups bulk email fingerprint found uh, faked received line message ID, uh, spam tool, caps variant, sorbs, uh, if you go to sorbs.net, uh, that is, or spamcop.net, my mail server uses a combination of these, where uh, bl.spamcop.net is blacklist spamcop.net, which shows uh, if something is uh, on the list and the header shows it as such, it will flag. Uh, what else we got here? Illegal characters, illegal character. Illegal characters basically means characters that are just gibberish, which is all this crap that you see up here. And so on down the line. But I starred one here on purpose because this one is 40.5 points. I thought I might have one that has more. I have seen them go as high as about 55 points in the negative. <laughs> so it's interesting. But anyway, same stuff here. Um, if there's a URI as in a website address that's in the blacklist and this is a .ru which is of course from the uh, from Russia and a lot of spams have .ru addresses in it so that's on the blacklist. There's a Bayesian filter again. Uh, here's one talks about a replica watch. It knows that. Uh, Rolex obfuscated repu uh, Rolex with obfuscated replica obfuscated means that in the body of the message down here it's got a bunch of crap in it where it tries to show you something uh, tries to sneak around the filter but it caught it anyway subject says replica Rolex brands uh, local watches all this other stuff and you get the idea um, this is another one I've seen reason recently which is razor to uh, razor dot sourceforge dot net that's another thing that is uh, gaining popularity as far as spam detection is concerned. Now on the flip side of things I have one down here which only scored two points meaning it almost got by my filter and uh, it it is strong enough to catch it though so for example body Rolex office with obfuscated replica email address doesn't have a top level domain which means the email address, all email addresses end with a .com, .net, .org, .whatever. This one didn't have one, it caught it. And that is essentially what flagged it over the limit. Now, the Bayesian filter, it didn't think it was a spam. It is. It didn't think it was a spam, so it actually gave it points back, 2.6. But because the email address didn't have a top-level domain, it knocked it back down. 
and then it got a point one of a point for delivered to trusted network by a host with no uh, I think RN, RDNS or reverse DNS pretty sure about that so anyway if you ever wanted to know how, like, how does spam how is it detected it's detected by point systems and when you actually look at these point system it's it's really interesting the stuff that you see come through here um, unfortunately in Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail and whatever you do not have this level of information you when the system flags a spam you never know why when you run your own web server however on your own mail domain and you have Apache spam assess yeah Apache spam assassin uh, as well as other tools like Razor and things like that you get to see exactly why things are flagged as spam now in addition I have it set so two points flags of spam but I can set this higher if I want to let's just say that my spam detection was a little overzealous and it was false flagging I could actually set this to five or seven or even higher and uh, if I did that then it would allow more through I have it set really tight on purpose because to the email address this was sent to I get a lot of spam on that one so I need to see what's coming through but if you ever wanted to know okay how does spam filtering work well point system that's it